Hey guys, I'm Angelo, and in this video, let's explore how to use Adobe InDesign's Compound Path feature. This tool is super useful when you want to take one image and place it into multiple frames. So in this video, I'll show you how to convert four image frames into one using Make Compound Path. I'll also go over how to add simple effects and apply blend modes to the image. So let's jump right into this video and start creating. On my screen here, I have a poster for a fictional company called Flex Fitness, a fitness company. And have a look, on this page, I have four separate image frames. And the idea here is I wanna add one image that fills all four frames. So I could click the first one, go to File and Place. And here's my image, Fitness Main. I'm gonna click Open and as intended, it's gonna fill that first frame. Now I can click the content grabber, right click, copy, and then right click this one and paste into, click the third, paste into. You could see that it's pasting it from where you copied it, which is cool. But you might run into some issues if you wanna edit the image. So if I wanted to say resize it, you could see I'm only going to resize per frame. So let me just do Command Z and let's go back to the beginning where we have four blank frames. The idea when you're setting up a compound path is you wanna select the image frames together, go to Object, Paths, and choose Make Compound Path. And have a look now, this is one image frame with a compound path applied. So this allows me to go to File and Place and choose the same image, Fitness Main, click Open, and have a look, that one image is in the same frame. I can click the content grabber, shift option command C to fill frame proportionally, and I can shift it to the right or left together as one image. The other cool thing about this is if I click this frame, I can also apply an effect that applies to all four of those smaller frames. So I have this compound path selected, and I'm gonna to go to my effects in my properties panel, and let's give this an inner shadow, just so it kind of looks like a cutout effect. Of course, you can uh, increase the opacity or decrease it to the way you want, and just click OK. So any effect will also apply to the entire compound path, and so that looks really good. And of course, you can adjust it the way you want. Now, to match the color theme of this poster, I wanna click on it once, go to my swatches panel, and I'm gonna give it this bright purple. Then I'm gonna click on the content grabber, go back to my properties panel and choose opacity and give it a blend mode of hard light. And you're probably wondering, am I able to break this compound path once it's been set? Yes, you can. Just click on it once and go to object, paths and release compound path. And you could see it reverts to that one image that you initially placed it in at the beginning. So that's a quick tip on how to place one image in four separate frames using the compound path technique in Adobe InDesign. Leave a like or comment below if you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to stay up to date with all my latest content. If you'd like to learn more about Adobe InDesign, then check out this playlist right up here. Until next time, take care and keep creating.